Hey, church family. I don't know if you saw the story in the news this past week of the California woman who was visiting Yellowstone National Park when she was gored by a bison after approaching the animal too closely to try and take a photo. This is sadly the second such incident in less than six weeks between a visitor to the park and one of the park's iconic hulking animals. In this case, the 72-year-old woman received immediate medical care from rangers before being flown via helicopter to Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center in Idaho Falls. I'm glad that the expectation is that this woman will make a full recovery, as opposed to being yet another one of the more than 250 deaths by selfie that are recorded each year. A National Park Service representative was interviewed and said, the series of events that led up to the goring suggests that the bison was threatened by being repeatedly approached to within 10 feet. He said bison are wild animals that respond to threats by displaying aggressive behaviors like pawing the ground, snorting, bobbing their head, bellowing and raising their tail. If that doesn't make the threat, which in this case was a person, move away, a threatened bison may charge. And that in fact is exactly what happened. This sad story reminds me of the old saying, if you play with fire, you are going to get burned which is a saying that may actually have a biblical origin. In Proverbs 6, the writer asks the question, Can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? Now, I know that most of you may not be planning on a trip to Yellowstone anytime soon. And you may not have walking on hot coals as one of the items on your bucket list of things you'd like to try before you die. Nevertheless, the principle still holds true for each of us as we walk through life. Play with fire, and you're going to get burned. Psalm 119, 105 tells us that God's word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. He's given us his word as a road map to guide us along the journey of life. The instructions there are for our benefit and our protection. Not just protection from bison and burns, but protection from all the missteps and mistakes that we might make along the way. May we learn his word, may we commit it to memory, and may we, just like David, hide his word in our hearts so that we won't sin against him. Amen.